All right, it's January 2022. Hope everyone had a happy new year. We've got the video game monthly box for this month. And so we're, we're gonna open it, and then Finn and the Munchkin are gonna give me hints on what what we got, and see if I can guess what games we got. All right, that one. So it's like it could be an interesting box. All right, the puppy's gonna help too. Um, we get Wii U. GameCube, Master System, Genesis, Dreamcast, and N64. We got a door hanger. We got a door hanger. Don't mess around. I'm playing with the joystick. We got the card. Update your library. And you could win some games. N64. N64. You hit me with the card. I'm sorry. The card flies. It has its own mind. It does fly. I didn't mean to do it. It has a red car and a yellow car behind it on a racetrack. Uh, and the title is has a red banner with yellow letters. N64, another racing game. Oh, no racing games for the N64. Is it a cruising? This is a very well-known brand even today. Need for Speed? It's brand of toys. Branded toys. Totally oh, Hot Wheels. Yeah. yeah. Okay, actually, this one might be kind of neat. We'll have to look at Oh my gosh, that label. And it's a little abused. It's a little used and abused. So, Hot Wheels for the N64. Genesis. Genesis. There's no picture, just words. No picture, just words. Just words. The words are kind of red with a little maybe yellowish kind fade. Of fade thing on. Yeah, kind of whitish, creamish at the top. Micro pros. Yeah, you're gonna have to give me some hints about the words because. <laughs> it's a type of plane. Red words. Jet, I think. Yeah, fighter jet. Fighter jet F twenty two. Nope. Need a lower number. F sixteen. A little bit lower. F fourteen. A little bit higher. higher. F fifteen. F fifteen straight eagle two. No idea about this one. This one looks kinda rough too. This one doesn't look as rough. This is another Genesis. No pictures. Genesis. Just no words. pictures. This is one of the different the bigger cartridges. Well, so it's an EA game. That's what that means, yeah. Yeah, it's electronic arts. It's in three D. Looks very eighties. Has like a yellow starburst with like green letters with with lines on them. Accolade. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, keep the hints coming because wow. Well, it doesn't really starts with a B. It doesn't give us a description about the game or anything. So no, we really don't have a clue what we're describing. A round spherical mm -hmm. thing. Baloney balls. <laughs> balls. Three D fighting at its balliest. Ballsiest. Ballsiest, yes. Balls for the Genesis. A little bit better condition. Some sticker residue on the back and actually some on the front. The next one's complete. Ooh. What uh, is it for? Uh, GameCube. 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 There's a car. A silver car. A silver a sports car. car. And there's a helicopter kind of in the background. It looks like there's other car lights behind said silver car. And the silver car has weapons. Spy Hunter? Yep. Yes. <laughs> Man, you know, the cover's a little bit rough, but Spy Hunter. I have no idea about this one. I mean, it looks interesting, even if it does look like a dog chewed on it. And it was game number 105 from whatever rental service used this. Look at that. This is really in good shape, so... So far, I'd say this is the highlight out of all of this and Hot Wheels for the N64 following. Another GameCube. Another GameCube. complete In the GameCube case. In the GameCube case. Um, isn't that your favorite dude? My favorite Marvel superhero. Wolverine Origins. But his name is not in the X-Men 3. That is all three. we have this month. Complete. In the GameCube case. This looks... Okay. So, 
I'm not sure. I want to say I played this. I may have owned this before. One of the games that I gave away. So Spy Hunter, I think Spy Hunter and Hot Wheels I'm most interested about. Y'all have any interest in any of these? The Bowls one could be interesting. The Wolverine one. Well, of course you want the interest in the Wolverine one. Maybe you can test it out on stream one day. I would. I might have some interest in the Hot Wheels one too. That one's kind of that one. Kind of kind of fun. Hopefully that one's multiplayer, so two at least two people can play, maybe four. Man, that label, that label. It's been loved. All right, All right quick rundown. Hot Wheels for the N64, F-15 Strike, Strike Eagle 2 for the Genesis, also for the Genesis, Balls, 3D fighter ga fighting game, Spy Hunter, complete, and X-Men 3, or X-Men official game, for the both for the GameCube. And it, what is it, 45 bucks? Yeah, something so like that. Just about broke even if you don't include shipping and handling, but I include shipping and handling for the price of games, so... If you're worried about value of the box, this one fell a few dollars short. It happens. Then you get other boxes and 60 some odd dollars of value. Um, but the condition of some of these I think would also hurt the price of them. So I would actually round it down to probably like 40 bucks. <clears throat> and then you gotta find somebody you know, who actually wants F-15 Strike Eagle and balls. Oh, but this is not an electronics art cart. Most of the ones that are oversized have that little yellow tab. Oh, yeah. This does not. The electronic arts ones have this yellow tab. There is no yellow tab. I'm not sure how many accolade games I've got. But I've got one more of them now. Yay! And what did I just do with F-15 Strike Eagle? It's stuck on the shelf. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, it's right in front of me. If it had been a snake, it would have bit me. So that's it for January 2022. Hope everyone has a good month. Everyone take care, have fun, be kind of well. Stay safe, keep it retro. God bless, and we'll catch you next time. Have fun. Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye from the monster.